Helix or Casper? Which mattress is right for you? Hey guys, it's Martin here from Mattress Clarity, and today we're talking about just that. We're taking a look at the Helix Midnight and the Casper Original Mattress, talking about their similarities, their differences, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Helix and the Casper. You'll also find some great exclusive coupons on the website and the description below. So I do want to note that today we're talking about the Helix Midnight Mattress, the most popular model. They have multiple mattress models, but this is kind of like in the middle of the firmness and feel range, so a good way to get an idea of how Helix compares to Casper overall. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, both come from very popular mattress brands, they both have very good customer service terms. They both feature memory foam somewhere in their construction. They're both similar in terms of firmness and similar in terms of feel. So now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, the Helix Midnight features coils. The Casper Original All Foam Mattress does not feature coils. Now because of that, the Helix Midnight is going to be more breathable than the Casper Original Mattress. Now the Casper Mattress features a zone construction. The Helix Midnight Mattress does not. And at full price, the Helix Midnight costs less than the Casper Original Mattress. So now let's talk about the construction of both these mattresses, starting off on top and then working our way down. Starting off with the covers, on the Helix Midnight mattress you have a soft touch cover, thin and breathable as well. Moving over to the Casper, kind of similar there, you're going to have thin and breathable cover, won't affect the overall feel of the mattresses too much, but allow for some good airflow through the top of the mattress. Moving down to the comfort layer, starting off on the Helix Midnight mattress, on top a layer of Memory Plus foams. It's going to be kind of that slow moving memory foam right on top of the mattress. Below that, some high grade poly foam with some more bounce to it. Moving over to the Casper mattress, on top a layer of Airscape foam. Basically a more responsive poly foam, but it's ventilated for airflow as well. Below that you have a layer of memory foam, but a special layer. It features something called zone support. Basically this layer is firmer towards the center, softer towards the head and foot of the mattress. This makes it feel firmer, more supportive when you're back in stomach sleeping, more pressure leaving when you're on your side. Moving down to the support layers over on the Helix mattress, you're going to have individually wrapped coils, but with the Casper Original mattress, some base foam. So what does all that mean? Well, first off, just looking at the construction, the main difference is going to be in the support layer. So with the Helix Midnight, you're going to have support coils. Over in the Casper Original Mattress, you're going to have a foam base layer. Now, because of that, the Helix Mattress is going to be more breathable than the Casper Original Mattress. It might sleep cooler than the Casper. Also speaking of support, it might be more supportive than the Casper Original Mattress. Now also, speaking of durability, it's going to be close between these two mattresses, but I might give the slight advantage to the Helix mattress. And one more note on that zoning, with the Helix mattress you're not going to have some zoning so it feels kind of the same no matter what sleeping position you're in. With the Casper mattress you have that zone support system so it feels firmer and more supportive depending on your sleeping position. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Helix Midnight was close to a 7 out of 10, a little bit firmer than average. Again, Helix offers multiple mattress models, so if you want something firmer or softer, they definitely offer that. Moving over to the Casper, also a 7 out of 10, a little bit firmer than average. Now speaking of feel, both have more of a responsive, balanced foam feel. However, a slight difference is with the Helix Midnight. On top, you have that slow moving memory foam, so not as easy to move around on the Helix as the Casper. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting off with the Helix Midnight mattress on my back, a good match for me. Nice balance of comfort and support, my hips sink in the right amount, some good contouring from the Memory Plus foam, good overall support as well. Moving to my side, not a bad match for me, some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Again, I'm a larger person, I'm kind of pressing further into the mattress though, so if you're lighter, you might feel better pressure relief than I did on this mattress. Again, if you want even more pressure, you can go for one of their softer models in the Helix mattress line. Moving to my stomach though, too soft for me, I'm bowing at the hips a bit and I'm getting out of alignment, could lead to some lower back strain over time. Moving over to the Casper mattress on my back, an even better match for me back sleeping, better lumbar support, also some good contouring as well, so very good for back sleeping. 
Moving to my side, also not a bad match for side sleeping with that zoning. It is softer under my shoulder area, but again, as a larger person, I probably want something softer overall. Moving to my stomach, I'm feeling better stomach sleeping on the Casper Original mattress than I did on the Helix Midnight. That's because of that zoning holding up my hips. I'm not bowing in, I'm not getting out of alignment. Here at Mattress Clear, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure all the way up to red for high pressure. Now let's pull up the side sleeping results for both these mattresses. On the left, you're gonna have the Helix Midnight, and the right, you're gonna have the Casper Original mattress. Now pay close attention to my shoulders and my hips. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you do wanna think about. It's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? Now, edge support means if you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more going to roll off and onto the floor? Now, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the Helix Midnight Mattress. You have memory foam right on top of the mattress, absorbing more motion than what you find over on the Casper Original. A better match for couples in this respect. Now, speaking of edge support, I would also give the advantage to the Helix Midnight Mattress. I feel more secure sitting and lying down at the edge of this mattress. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Helix Midnight Mattress, I think the better option for hot sleepers in general. With the coils, a lot more room for airflow, a more breathable mattress, a cooler sleeping mattress overall. It's also a better option, I believe, for heavier people. Being a hybrid mattress with supportive coils should support heavier weight than the Casper Original Mattress. And last but not least, I think it's a better option for those who prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel right on top of their mattress. Overall, a balanced foam feel, but if you want some of that slow moving feel right on top, the Helix Midnight is the way to go. Now, in terms of who should get the Casper, I think it's the better option for back sleepers who require more lumbar support. With the zone support system in the second layer, you definitely feel great lumbar support on this mattress. Finally, if you prefer a mattress with more of a balanced kind of responsive foam feel right on top of the mattress, I would definitely go with the Casper Original. Right on top, you have Airscape foam, which is bouncy and more responsive. So the Helix Midnight and the Casper Original mattress are both bed-in-a-box mattresses. That means they're gonna come to your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox it? Well, it's very easy to follow these instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. These boxes can be quite heavy. You don't wanna hurt or strain yourself. So bring that box inside, bring it into your bedroom, and then open up the top of the box. Take out the rolled up mattress, place it on your frame or foundation. Then slowly, carefully cut through layers of plastic. You don't wanna damage your brand new mattress. Then clear away all the plastic, all the packing materials. Give it about 24 to 40 hours for the off gas and expand, and you're good to go. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you're still a bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, you can leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. If you started looking for a mattress for bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.